November 12th, the cadets embarked on the longest journey in Army football history. 7,500 miles to Japan and their first ever game against Montana in the Mirage Bowl. There were games and studies along the way. But most important was the opportunity for the cadets to visit a foreign culture. I think as uh, this trip began to develop and the whole concept, concept of it began to develop, we really believed that uh, an opportunity for our team to go to Japan, to go in any, any foreign country, uh, would be good for us uh, recruiting-wise, an attraction, an extra attraction uh, for young high school football players to have such an experience. And I think now that we're here, uh, that our hopes uh, have been borne out. It's been a great experience for our young people, uh, a chance to mix with another culture, uh, to see another country, uh, to see how things are done here, uh, has just been uh, a great thing for them to be able to look back on. Some 60,000 fans came to the Mirage Bowl and watched in amazement as the Army offense rushed for a school record 628 yards. Four Army backs, Sassaman, Black, Hollingsworth, and Clarence Jones, gained over 100 yards each. Only the fourth time that has happened in college football history. Most valuable player in the game, Sassaman conducted a wishbone play, faking hard to the fullback, committing the defense to him, and then pitching to Jones for a spectacular 78-yard touchdown. Increased emphasis on strength training and a new dietary supplement program instituted by Jim Young were paying rewards as Army enjoyed its biggest display of offense in the team's 95-year history. Doug Black's touchdown clinched the victory as Army scored 45 points, set six school records, and made the once-in-a-lifetime trip to Japan a very memorable experience.